Philippines chapter 1, we already saw some things and one of the main lessons at the chapter 1 that we found out is that there are two, two lessons that are important. Sometimes that things that aren't so cool, that, that are trouble in our lives, truly they are blessings, basket blessings. And we can't imagine Paul was in jail, was jailed at Rome, waiting, waiting there. His moment in the justice, in the in the judgment court, but even knowing that he could he could be dead or could be released, he he got that God use it this moment, uh, let him to spread the gospel word, the guards, the soldiers, that the guards that the guards of the empire that chose his generals to 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 achieve in other places. So this is the main fact that make the made the the gospel word to to spread, and Paul evangelized. He was in jail with the guards. So, because of this, as a mission of Paul, he the, his mission was to evangelize all the dumb people of that age. So for them, it was a victory because victory is to achieve our our target. I've heard about Vasco. Vasco won a game. Thank God that it's just little, uh, just one or two games. But the important is the Vasco, I didn't see, I didn't watch the game, but the game could be uh, ugly. Who did they they played against? Botafogo. They matched against Botafogo, and is it's possible that Botafogo played better? But the ones that get the truth is that the one that makes goals. But sometimes in our lives there are some things that are not so cool that have we have problem. But it's important for us to reach our targets, our goals, and Paul rejoiced. In the middle of her of his suffering, he rejoiced because he was reaching the mission that gave that God gave to him, that was about spreading the gospel word all over the world, and this is was this is the first perspective that God hopes you to have at that hardest moment. Remember that God is making His work. And these difficulties, these troubles, this cooperates for the for the good, the good for the ones that loves God and are called for His work. And second, we learn it that no matter if you disagree your with your brother, if you don't disagree, if you disagree with your pastor, if your uncle, your family, when. When we talk about another Christian, guys, we have, all of us have in common. First, we have Jesus in common. We have a love for God, for Jesus in common. So, I can rejoice, I can be happy. Yes, yeah, sometimes uh, there are some churches that I don't think that are so dynamic. There are some churches that have some activities that oh, this is boring. I wouldn't do that. But you know what? This this is not concerned for me. this is not concerned about me. I I could I could rejoice for the church that that has a different preaching, but because they have Jesus, isn't your brother that in your in your prayer group that? All he says is the opposite of what you say. Isn't there these? Aren't there these people? I hope this is not your husband. And 
for you to have an opinion, their opinion are the opposite. At this moment, you have to remember one thing. Both have in common. They love Jesus. Second, second thing that Paul show us, we have another thing in common. We are in the mission of spread the word, spread the gospel word. So if we are evangelizing, we could rejoice one to each other. There, are a pa there is a pastor of another state. I've never met him. I know his name, but a friend of mine receives an email of, of him that lives in another state as well. And every time we have a, a program, a program, a different program, Pastor, if you are listening to us at this moment, so he sent a message, an email. I don't agree with your program. I disagree with that. Do you agree with that? And finally, my friend, Pastor, sent a message. Look at this. You have to observe. Yes, there are some things that Pastor Davy say, says, but I don't do because I don't have the conditions. It's different. Every state is a, a particular thing. But I, I tell you something. Go visit one program, one for them. He never comes to us, but he loves to criticize. He, he, never, he never came to a, a, a sonho de Natal. And, and a long time ago, he doesn't do that. And there, the opportunities are there, but he doesn't like it. I tell you one thing. That church, the Nova Igreja, when they have a program, the gospel word will spread in a clearly way, and the opportunity for the people to accept Jesus as at another church is seen. We have something in common. I am talking to you, Pastor. Come visit us. One thing we have in common, we spread, we are spreading the word in our way because God gave us this place. You couldn't do that in your place, and we do here. We couldn't do that in your place, but we do here because we have this in common. We are spreading the gospel word. That's, that's why we rejoice, even in that brother that, look, look to my father. He is already 90 years old. Thank for the prayers. It was fantastic. It was a happiness in, in his church. His sister of 86 years old, they came to the, to the party to celebrate. They came. Look at this. It is scary. And my father, we have different ways, different methodologies. My father, there are some pastors that came to my father and talked, do you think this is, this is right? And he answered, I don't interfere in the, in the work of my son, and he doesn't interfere on mine. And my father, he, 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 takes, a fly, he takes some flyers and he, gave, and he gives it every time he, he takes the flyers to evangelize, and he only returns when it's over. He looks for people to talk, 19 years old. We have this in common, and sometimes he does it in a different way. He gave a flyer to a man and talked. The man answered, I am an atheist. And my father answered, oh, you won't be atheist <laughs> after, two minutes, after two minutes of conversation. And he talked, he talked, when you, when you fall into how we will not believe in atheism. I don't speak this way, but you know, gave, gave Hannah diff, a different mission, but we have this in common. We are spreading the word, and God uses him, God uses me in the different ways, and I can be happy in my father's life because we are spreading the word. We are spreading the gospel word. So this opens a lot of space for a lot of 
of ways for me to be happy because sometimes we we start uh, criticizing and talking bullshit, but we are losing our focus. We are losing our happiness. It's like inside your home, there are some sometimes that your husband will fry an egg. Another day, a husband would fry, and almost he burned all the house. And then her wife, his wife, thinks, oh, for God's sake, this egg will withdraw because all the the oil he used it and it's it's getting dirty all the chick of the kitchen let your husband do that now i hope him to clean all the the mess and if the house burns out that he fix it too but look sometimes we we lose our happiness because we 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 don't like the way that elders do the things. Paul says, even if that people is it isn't easy. Congratulations, blessings for him. We can say that the the name of Jesus is being spread. This this is these are the two greatest lessons of chapter one, and we will finish today talking about the third concept that he gave us. In verse call. 23. Pardon me, at verse 22. We've, we finished, we stopped at that verse call that says, For me to live, were you here, guys? For me to live is Christ. Oh, I remembered. And how is it going to be now at the Festival of Word? For me to live is Christ, and for me to die is gain. At the, at the following verse call, he says, the Apostle Paul, if I am, because he was there and he could live or die, he could be condemned, or he could be released, set or free. If I am to go on living in a body, I like this this word. Look how it is important. Maybe you read it and you didn't see that. If I am going, if I am to go on living in the body, why this is an important true? Because Paul is saying that if you are a Christian, if you are a son of God, if you accept Jesus as your Savior, as and your Lord, you will keep living. Inside a body or not, but you will keep living. Did you understand? This is fantastic. Uh, last week, two sisters of, of ours, they, they had their transportation to heaven. One older and one younger, and they went to heaven. They are, they are alive now at this moment. But they are alive. They are alive there at heavens. They aren't with that body, but they are alive. And Paul wants you to understand that. This is a, a reason to rejoice. You are here for all eternity. Look to your people of your side. Ask, do you, do you believe in God? Are you Christian? Are you son of God? Are you Christian? Oh. I will have to, to live with you for all eternity. Congratulations. Look at this. Look what he says. If I am to go on living in a body, this will mean, now at this present moment, but Paul already understood he would be living in a body or not, or waiting for a new body, waiting for a new body. He would be living. This means fruitful labor for me. Yet what I show, yet sh what shall I choose? I do not know. I am torn between the two. I desire to depart and be with Christ, which is better by far. Paul, 
Bo, he had a visit uh, a visitation at Heavens, and he doesn't know if he was in body or not. But anyway, he God brought him to Heaven for him to to have classes with Jesus, for him to write to the the people, and he went to Heaven. But God didn't let him to write many things that he heard or saw. Why do I think that God didn't permit it? Because if he wrote it, there, were, there would be a lot of people talking, hey, I, will, I want a, a coffee, I want to go to heaven. But everybody wants to live and spread the word of God that is our mission. If we, if we know what awaits us in heavens, Everybody would be asking for a disease. Oh gosh, I couldn't get that cancer. Why? Because everybody would like to go to heaven. And Paul, sa Paul saw it. The f heavens are is fantastic. God didn't let him to write about it because a lot of people would would like to go to di to die to go to heaven. And Paul, because I know it's better by far. Heavens are better by far. Have you already visited a house, a, mi a mansion? Have you already visited that you thought, oh, I would like to have this place? I went to a friend, to a friend's house. He, he has a, a sports square inside his his house beside his room his glass room the have you have you thought of that it wouldn't be so great to play tennis it is a dream better with he if he had a a football place have you already gone to a beautiful mansion Oh, I would like to have this place. How many here already have this? I already thought of it. But let me talk about you, a secret. No matter uh, the beauty of the house you, you, re you visited, when you see what God prepared for you, you will say, Oh, I, I, I wanted a, a little house, a simple thing. Do you know that, that little houses that have a, a hole inside for you to... I was, I was desiring a little house and I didn't know. When you see what God prepared to you, it's, it's, it's out of your imagination. And God and Paul knows that. He knew that. He saw some things at heaven. And that's why he says, and depart, depart like our sisters two weeks, two weeks ago. It's far better. It's much better. It's much better. But I am torn between the two. I decided to depart and be with Christ, which is better by far. But is it, it's more necessary for you that I remain in the body. Look at this. Paul understood this thing. I will live forever, as he will live forever, as you are going to live forever. You that are son of God will live forever. This. Resolve it. Don't go home if you don't have Christ. About your eternal life, your forgiveness, so, Paul says, I understand that my mission, look at this, my mission, for all my eternity, my work is now, it's here. It's spread the word because there are six, six billion of people, maybe five billion doesn't have Christ. And who has the secret of eternal life? Me and you. 
we have the secret. Our mission is now to work, work for a, a long time, for a little time, at the time of eternity, and after that is only vacation. But at this time, we have to work. That's another, t another day I've heard. At 42 years old, he became a retired. What, what, his, what did he do that? Why he, did he do that? Do you, and if he lives for 19 years old, what would he do? The retirement is at heaven. That's why we, uh, at, this, at this little time we have before Christ comes, and if you, all that the disease, it's during the disease, disease times that we have to work, that we can spread, that we can make a difference, an eternal difference in the people's lives. Sometimes we, we take a sleep. We have to see that sometimes God gave us a, a, a traveling for us to to evangelize, to spread the word. We never, we never are on vacation. We are always spread the word because we are. We only have this, this life to make the difference. Paul understood that. And he says, it is much better for me to depart. It's much better for me. But it's necessary for you, for the world. It's better for the church, for the body of Christ, for the people who need the salvation, that I stay here, that I keep living and working. And understanding this, understand that truly you aren't here for enjoy the life. You are not here to to enjoy the baby's cries. You are not here to enjoy the rich because the better, the best things here is the a little house at heavens. I am talking about the bathroom outside. If you don't know, I am talking about a little bathroom, a small bathroom among the volcanoes. So, we can be happy even if the conditions are hard because we are doing something that never at, at the entire time of eternity we will not have the opportunity anymore the opportunity anymore the opportunity to spread the word it's a it's a unique opportunity so that's why that's because our feet are hurt, our shoulders, our body. When we are broken, our emotions are, are broken down. The, our muscles are, are hurt. I don't know what, what problem you have, but even this way we, can, we keep up with happiness to understand that I have this opportunity. My 90 years old father understand that he has only this chance. Every day he thinks this could be my last day. And you have to think this way too, because there are just, just, and uh, this could be my last word, this could be my last day, and I, I can have my better, I can do my better. More people can know Jesus because of my work for the day that I live today, for the message I will preach. And in this, I have the happiness, even in the darkest time, even in my pain, even in my problems. Convinced of this, verse call 25, convinced of this, I know that I will remain and I will continue with all of you for your progress and joy in the faith. Truly, this, this verse code 25, he says that my target, my goal is that you, 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 and you have progress in two things in your rejoice, in your happiness, and in your faith, in your 
happiness and in your faith. Paul says that I want to, I want you to grow up. How many here are leaders of uh, a small group or a small ministry? Your mission for that flock that God gave to you. I saw a flock of three girls and uh, and their leaders leading them, influencing their lives, leading them. Our mission is, as a leader, is to help the flock that gave that God gave us is to have some progress in their faith and in their in their happiness. The truly happiness is not that all that euphoric thing. For you to have that euphoric euphoric thing, you would use drugs. I am not suggesting you to do that. Just in Colorado State that you can smoke the cannabis. I am telling you that the truly happiness, the truly joy is not is not being that way. <laughs> so that the drunk ones would be very happy because they are this way, but not. The truly rejoice, the truly joy, joy is that that peace of soul. It's to understand that everything that I do, it's for the good. Everything cooperates for my eternal joy, and yes, there will be a lot of uh, a lot of situations, some some situations that you can be happy. That's why I like the orchestra because they they rejoice me. Sometimes when you listen to a music, and then and deep inside we we are happy. Sometimes there are some people that talk to me, and they rejoice me. They refresh my soul. And God wants us to see the eternal joy. The eternal joy is to live forever with God. In the world he created, live fearless of death, fearless of plagues, corruption, violence, crimes, the bacteria. This is the happiness. And God wants you to see, because the joy in God is our first until the day that Jesus returns, you have to be happy. This is the message of Philippians' book. Convinced of that, I will remain. I will continue. Convinced of this, I know that I will remain, and I will continue with all of you for your progress and joy, for your progress, truly, the verse called says, the progress in your happiness, in your joy, and the joy in the faith. This is the mission of every leader, to help you to rejoice in God, in the true, with truly, to truly happiness, not that passenger thing. Come a person to your group laughing, ha 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 ha. He is very crazy. But this happiness, when it's over, when the drug is over, he is depressed. This is not truly, <coughs> this is not true happiness. And the mission of the leader is, hey, brother, you don't need it. You don't need the drug. You can set free of that. Your joy has to be in Jesus. And to teach these things, and he will not, he will not use it anymore. He will not need this programs this a long time ago he he used a vi he used to have a vice to give him some happiness his joy could be a, could be a true this is your work leader to help your flock to progress in the faith and in the joy to have more faith is to understand that one day this is, this will pass all of these problems will pass these problems are not compared to the things that God prepared to us. This is our mission. This is my mission with you, to help you, to pro to progress in your in your joy, in your faith, to enjoy Lord, to enjoy among the disease, among the problems, among the troubles. I don't know what you have. For you to understand that we have a joy that never ends. 
and if we have a mission to to give this idea to the artist that doesn't have a hope and second to grow in faith to progress in faith so that through my being so that through my being with you again with you again your joy in Christ Jesus will overflow part of my mission of your mission of church's mission is to rejoice the others is to rejoice your your, your brother part of my mission is to rejoice and when you are happier you will preach better you will say better you will persist you will resist you will you will win the devil's temptations and that's why we gather once <coughs> that's why we gather at sundays and we gather because our our task is to rejoice my task is to rejoice you is to make you happy my help my 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 mission is to help you that are slow you that are a turtle brother he comes to church you know that you know the turtle I don't know if the turtle does it. He he sits, and when the people comes, he stays quiet. He hides his head. He relaxes. Look, like the turtle brother, like in a a church of joy. So it doesn't work. So the main mission is like. It's necessary to remember that, and all the ministers uh, work with that, like and and also like they give me a, a huge help with that, like uh, uh, sometimes I I pay a dinner or pay a, a, a lunch for them, you know, just because of this. Our main mission is our mi our main mission is to make people happy is to make people happy your mission is to make people happy is to make your brothers happy so please when you come here you're going to sit here no you're going to read your bible no don't do that don't do that do in your house don't do this anymore like you're going to you need to make people happy so come on so people <laughs> this guy is is married for 8 months and look at him at him, like he's okay, like he's not too, uh, he's worried. So come on, so it's necessary. Uh, it's necessary to remember, of course, that uh, I know that, of course, you married a, a beautiful girl and she's okay. You know that things are hard, but come on, guy, like uh, you need to eat a pizza. If you need a pizza, you get better. So come on, just do that. So. Come on, our main mission is to do that. Is to uh, is to make people happy. Just make uh, your brother's heart happy. So if you make people happy, so you're going to make God happy because He told you that. He told you to do this. So are you understanding this? So, so the turtle brothers are going to skip this. Are going to avoid this. Come on, you're not going to do this anymore. So. Come on, now you're going to pull uh, the, the turtle brother's neck now, you know, just because of this. So be careful, like, doing that because it, it, it can bite you, you know, like a turtle. Oh, you remember that uh, that song, like, uh, So I want to be a joy for you. So come on, we're going to, uh, we're going to be happy, so... How can uh, how can we be happy? So let's talk about uh, let's talk to to the guys now. Now, so who lives in a house that your parents paid expenses? So come on. So let me tell uh, tell me. So who is going? Uh, who lives uh, with your parents, your relatives, grandparents, or something like that? So come on. Yeah, I'm talking to you right now. So come on. Hey, now I'm talking to you. Yeah, that's it. Raise your hand. So now you can lower your hand, <laughs> because the next question you're not going to you're not going to be you're not going to raise your hand anymore. So look at that. The Bible says that Proverbs. Let's see, Proverbs twenty nine seventeen and then Proverbs ten one and also in other places. 
He talks about the negative and the positive parts. Yes, he talks about Solomon, uh, best things and worst things. So do you know what rejoice your parents' heart when you obey them? When you obey them. When you obey them, like you're going to rejoice your parents' heart. So come on, you that raise your hands. So you that raise your hands at that moment, at that very moment. So you just need to rejoice your parents' heart to obey them. So it, uh, you're going to rejoice your grand, uh, your grandmother's uh, heart, obey them. So you're going to arrive in your house like with uh, a tattoo, like on your forehead. Like, come on, you're not going to rejoice your your parents doing that. So uh, children, like your main mission is to do that, to rejoice your parents' hearts. So let's go. Let's make a, a little interview because I'm going to talk to the to the children now. Let's go. Come on. I saw three of them. So where are they? Where are they? So, talk to me. So who who let your mother very angry or upset with you? So let me uh, tell me. Tell me one thing that makes re uh, her really happy. When I when I mess my room. Okay, so come on, it's difficult to organize a room, right? So, but you do that because you're going to rejoice your mother's heart. So, come on, when you organize everything, so your mother is going to be very, very happy. Her heart is going to be happy. And also, God's going to be happy with you because you did that to your mother. So, did you understand, every one of you? So, come on, let's go to another one. Want to talk to me? So, come on. So tell me, uh, what some uh, tell me something that you do, something like that really makes your mother unhappy when you don't do the meditation. Okay, got it. So you procrastinate, right? So come on, oh, don't do that. Oh come on, your mother say, oh come on, dude, just do that, just do that. You want to be a top kid? Come on, study, study, study. Oh, that's okay, can't. So. Remember when you when you do your meditation? So is is your father? Is your mother? Yeah, they are going to be very happy. Look at uh, look at uh, look at their smile. Come on, so they are happy. So they are happy. Come on, just do it. So when you do that, they are going to be very happy, and then God's going to be happy because you rejoice your parents' heart. So isn't it fantastic? So come on to the other one to that girl. Okay, so let's go. Let me choose a, 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 a an older one. So come on. So uh, uh, so young that youngsters that uh, live with your parents. So come on, you live with your fa uh, with your parents. Come on. So let me talk to this guy over here. What's your name? Ejene. Ejene. Ejene, you live in your, your parents' house. Okay, in a house. So you live in your house. So. Uh, rejoice in your uh, in your economy because when you get married, come on, you're going to have big troubles. So what do you do? so what's what uh, what's a complaint uh, your mother do to you? You do the dishes, come on. So come on. Oh, where's the where's your father? So I can see your father now. So when he do the uh, when he does the dishes, so come on. God makes you happy, her happy, and there and then happy. That's okay. So that's very simple. So come on, that's how it works. So. When you come here, you have to remember that when you rejoice someone's heart, so people uh, people are going to be very happy, and also God's going to be very happy with you. So, because happiness in God is our strength. So, you you can help people to you can help your brother not to sin, not to uh, low uh, because of temptation so come on you, you you can't help them so it's only necessary because you can bring happiness to your brother come on our church has this this uh this quality you know like but we need to intensify this so we need it more and more uh, intense so everyone who enters here everyone who who comes here who who is new here, so come on, let's rejoice them, you know, let's help them, let's talk to them, and then we're going to help people who are already in God's step to follow the, uh, His steps. So let's see Titus chapter 2. So who is, who is worked, uh, who has a work here and, and you know, who is employed and has a boss here? 
So I'm not talking about your your boss, like your husband. So come on, you don't receive money, so he's not a boss. So let's go. Titus two, uh, chapter 2, 10. So the Bible says that you need to rejoice your uh, the heart of your boss. So you need to work uh, in a manner that uh, he's going to be very happy because of this. So your main mission is to do that, to rejoice your heart, uh, your boss's heart. So come on. And he's going to see that you're a Christian. So uh, and if you are Christian, of course, you're going to to make your boss very excited, very happy. So come on, just do that. Oh, come on. You, uh, you can't be the, the annoying guy. You can't be. So you're Christian. So uh, God, uh, God, uh, God says that. Of course, that you, if, if you have a very good job, so it's going to, uh, doors will be open to you. So, and of course, if you're a Christian, you're going to help the, bo uh, you're going to help them to fulfill their dreams because uh, happiness is the strength of the, uh, of the Christians. So, come on, if you have a subordinate, if you're, a, if you're the boss, come on, rejoice your, your employee's ha uh, heart as well. So Titus chapter ten, uh, chapter three, verse nine. So this is trustworthy saying. I want you to stress these things so that those who have trust in God may be careful to devote them. So come on. Proverbs says to you, chapter fifteen, verse thirty, explains that a cheerful look brings joy to the heart. So smile, come on, be, uh, have a big smile now. So it rejoices the heart. That couple now uh, have a, a had already kissed uh, three times just because of the the preach. Come on, so let uh, I'm going to talk to with the ministers now. So come on, if you smile, it makes you happy. So just smile, smile. That's a a music, but it's a ridiculous music. But that's okay. The message is good. Smile. Smile, if you uh, smile, smile to people. So our our people in the church uh, transmit this this joy. Come on, so there are and also there are uh, two cases, for example, that I can say that only because of the choir smile, people uh, uh, made the uh, made the votes and they accepted God. So we live Christ. So if you come here. Remember that you're not going to be the, the turtle brother anymore. So, come on. Turtle with uh, turtle is slow, of course, slow learners. But remember that we're not going to be turtle brothers anymore. So, you're going to smile. <laughs>